12 minutes past eight. And uh, last week, we brought you the story of 200 houses on the army base at Ballykinler in County Down and the Minister of Defence position that it is considering knocking them down. Many local people aren't happy about the idea. And another person who's less than impressed is James Heapy, a former soldier who lived in one of the houses and who is now a Conservative MP. He's on the line. Good morning, James. Good morning. James, the MOD telling us that demolition is one of a number of options at this stage, but it's not ruling it out. What do you think? Well, I think if they were to knock down all of those houses, they would be absolutely nuts. Ballykinler is just the most beautiful place to live. Um, and the houses down there are in fantastic condition. And it might be that some of them are too close to the ranges, but it's a big old patch. And some of those houses are absolutely huge. Uh, and you would think that the MOD would see far more value in selling them so they can be used by those who want to live in such a beautiful part of the world. You mentioned the ranges. They're firing ranges. Wouldn't there be a, a safety risk? Well, I hope not, because we lived there for sort of nearly two years and nobody shot us. But for others, maybe with children who wouldn't know the boundaries, wouldn't know army no. life and restrictions? No. There, were, there were lots of kids that lived on the, on the patch and... Um, and you know, there are fences around the fire between the firing ranges and the um, and, and the estate. And you know what I would suggest is that if the MOD is absolutely determined that there must be a safety distance, um, firstly, I can think of a number of bases um, on the mainland where there are uh, firing ranges not that far at all from. Um, from from civilian housing estates. So I think there's probably a re requirement for the MOD to be consistent in that view. Um, but, you know, it might be that they, if they're going to say that there is a minimum distance, then it might be that some of the houses are inappropriate for sale, but there are many, many more that are not. And when the MOD is scratching around trying to make its budget set up, the idea that you pull down a set of houses that are in fantastic condition and in a beautiful part of the world seems pretty irresponsible to me. Is it the case that many of these houses were refurbished only in 2008? Yeah, no, I mean, they are, they're, in, they're in great condition, they really are. I mean, you get, um, your, 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 your part of the world is absolutely magnificent, but you do sometimes get a bit of rain and cold. Uh, these houses are all, yeah, these houses are all refurbished and in great condition. And we, we just had the most fantastic time living in Ballykindler. Uh, I can't believe that we would pull down those houses when they're in such great condition. Well, you're in a position to do something about this now as a Conservative MP. Will you raise the issue with the MOD and indeed the Prime Minister? Well, I, th I think I will. I mean, I, I have to say I knew nothing about it until BBC Northern Ireland phoned me yesterday and asked me my view. Um, so I'm going to go and find Margaret Ritchie and offer my support in, um, in trying to keep these open. There's a, th th there's, it's just a stunning, stunning part of the world, a fantastic set of houses um, and it makes no sense to me to pull them down so I will see if I can help out in any way. Thank you very much indeed for joining us and telling us a little bit about your time here in Northern Ireland. James Heapy there, now a Conservative MP.